So in this video, I want to cover how to set up access rules so that members of your team in Grist can only see records in a document that pertain to them. So I'm working on the doggy daycare um, document, which we made for the October 18th webinar. There's a recording of that webinar on YouTube in the Grist channel if you want to refer to it. There's some great concepts about structuring your database and some other great tips in there. So in the doggy daycare, we manage a daycare for puppies. We have two locations in Queens and in Brooklyn. So uh, fundamentally here, we have a table of dogs. In the, you have the puppy names, their age, other dog information, who their owner is, the location. There's a table of owners. So it's the owner, their contact information. And then we have a table of SDRs, which stands for sales development rep. These are your salespeople. So we have four SDRs. These are their emails. These are people with whom this document is shared. But what I want to do is when they open it, they only see their owners and puppies. To make sure that um, we can set those rules, we have to make sure that every record and all of the other tables are linked to an SDR. So in owners, SDR is a reference column pointing to the SDR table. And here it's just showing the name. But remember, the value here isn't Brittany. The value is the underlying record. It's actually the row ID, the whole string. So it's pointing to this entire record. And then in dogs, the way that SDR is being calculated is it's doing a reference lookup. You can find more information about this in our help center, but basically the formula is um, in this reference column, which is owner, so in dollar sign owner, look up in the underlying table, the, S the SDR's name that relates to owner. So it's saying look up in this owner's table, the, that SDR name. This SDR name is a reference like we just covered. So this is pointing to a whole reference. I made it a reference column showing me one of those uh, fields just to make it easier to view. So if I, if this wasn't a reference column, if it was just a formula, you'll see it's actually giving me the row ID, the record ID, because that's what it's pointing to. But I want to make this easier to read. For that reason, I have it display the name. Okay, so we have SDRs, their emails that they use when they log into Grist. Each SDR is matched to an owner record. Each SDR is matched to a dog's record. So let's go to access rules. So let's add a user attribute. We'll call it SDR. So what we're saying is when a user logs into Grist, opens this document, look up the email they logged in with and match it in the SDR table to an email in that table. So what we're saying here is when Hugh logs in, you're gonna match it to Hugh here. So let's go ahead and add a rule for the owner's table. So what we wanna say is that for every record, in the owner's table, look up its SDR. And when it matches the user's SDR ID, then give them certain permissions, which in this case, we would say um, perhaps allow all. So what we're saying is for every record, look at the SDR. And when it matches the user attribute SDR, which is what we just created here, their um, ID, then grant this permission. So why are we? saying ID instead of email, because remember in the owner's table, this SDR column is a reference. So the actual value is the record ID. Now let's make sure that a document owner also has access to everything in the table. So let's add a rule above so that our rules cascade nicely. So if the user access is owner, allow all. And let's make sure that everybody else is denied access. Now let's do the same thing for the dogs table. So remember, because the SDR column in the dogs table is a reference column, we need to match it to the records ID. Now let's view this document as one of the sales reps. Go to users and let's view as Hugh. So we can see now in the owner's table, Hugh can only see Esteban, Benjamin, Nasir, and James. Those are the owners that pertain to him. And when we go to dogs, he's only seeing Esteban, Benjamin, Nasir, and James's dogs. In the dog dashboard, when he clicks into either location, he's only seeing Esteban, Benjamin, Nasir, and James's dogs. I didn't create any rules for the SDR table. So that's why here, Hugh can see um, all of his colleagues. If I wanted to, I could make it that Hugh only sees himself 
But in this case, I want you to be able to see Brittany, Khaled, and Desi's emails. So that's how you set up access rules that limit which records team members can see or edit so that they can only edit those records which pertain to them.